Hello, welcome to the Avengers Infinity War review. Got myself apps here, and I'm joined by the one and the only Tom Atkins, not Ed Cock. How you doing? I am dandy, baby. How are you? <laughs> yes, not too bad, thank you. So, Avengers Infinity War. Yep. The culmination of ten years of hard work and graft for the MCU. Cool. We review a lot of these MCU films. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're shit. That's the way it's gone. That is the way it's gone. Um, This is perhaps, other than perhaps episode seven of Star Wars, one of the most anticipated films I can remember for a long, 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 long time. Um, It's, you know, it's an extremely popular franchise. It's got a lot to live up through. And with the spotty kind of history of the, the the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's not a guarantee that it's going to be any good. No. Um, overall, early faults, have they delivered on something good here? Have they absolutely fucking blown it? It is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Full stop. The end. The Don't end of the... see it. Don't waste your money. No, it is good. It's not perfect. Oh. Oh. It I thought you might good. be on the big hype train. Big hype train. No, I was, and then it sort of resonated. When I first came out, I was buzzing. Hmm. But since then, it's I've sort of collected my faults. <laughs> and it's it's, don't get me wrong, it's still a great film. Hmm. And I think they've done, what they've done with it, like the way it could have gone for anything revert back to gaming times remember when they mm. they announced there was going to be a new duke nukem game yeah. that had been in development for 10 years yeah. and we all remember how that turned out so i thought yeah. this is going to be the movie version of that so and i was thinking all these superheroes how are we going to get enough time to get sort of a bit of story of each one and have yeah. it culminate together yeah, but I thought they did a good job. Um, but yeah, there is a few concerns that I thought could have made it better. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, I'd say it's on the plus. On the plus. On the plus. So you mentioned that there's a lot of you know characters to be put into this, and w- will they get you know the airtime required? Did you feel like those that were selected, and most of them were, there were a few absentees, mm. but did you feel the guys that they did show and have interactions within the, the the film did they did they all get their their moment in the in the sun as they might say or was or were some people left on the on the back burner just uh, as fodder there was a few i felt didn't get enough um what they did well was they made these sort of splinter groups out of this yes. rather than sort of going individually which would have been a silly move really considering how many there are mm-hmm. Um, yeah, rather than going through their individual stories and bringing it up, they they split these off into different little sort of splinter groups, and then they focused on those groups. Uh, and, and I thought, yeah, they did enough time because not in my cup of tea. This is on the plus side of three hours long. Mm. It's getting towards that, and I, yeah. that's that's a big no no for me. But I've got to say, when the credits rolled and we walked out, I was like, whoa, that didn't feel like three hours. Yeah. I was a bit surprised. So they've done enough there to keep me interested. I didn't. Sometimes you sort of with these films, I think, oh, that 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 whole act could have been cut out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think there was enough material there that they everyone had enough screen time. But well, I say everyone; these groups had enough screen time. Yeah. yeah. But thinking about, it, there were a few characters that I felt needed a bit more screen time. Mm-hmm. Um probably mainly because they made me laugh the most but yeah <laughs> but yeah a few of them got put down by the wayside bless them yeah which is gonna happen when there's nearly probably over a dozen people in the ensemble cast that need to be squeezed in and they've all ideally you know those are, there's always gonna be focus on more than others but that that always can't be helped some people say that the, a um a superhero film is only as good as its villain and it's been, but... a lot's been made of Thanos whether he can live up to being the big bollocks and someone who could yeah. potentially take on this many Avengers at, you know in, in, in a time period mm. is Thanos 
the cookie cutter garbage villain that we may have got from other Justice League type um, yeah. fi- <laughs> films, <laughs> or is he, or is he, or has he got a little bit of a personality behind that gives him some, you know, some some character? No, you've nailed it on the head there. He does have a lot of character, and that's what makes this film as good as it is. Mm. Um, exactly what you said, Justice League. When you compare this to Justice League, and I can't even freaking remember that stupid oh, bloke's name, Steppenwolf or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, what? Um, yeah, no, and again, my biggest concern was that I didn't, I don't, I'm not a fan of fully CGI'd uh, villains. It just, no. it just seems weird, especially when the rest of the cast are all real life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was a big thing. But Thanos is definitely the best Marvel villain. Yeah. That they've had, certainly. That. Just, sorry, just read, yeah. I'm not going to say comic book villain. Oh, well, there we go. Because there's a certain Joker that will <laughs> rival him. <laughs> <laughs> but just next to my boy Joker... Thanos is definitely the best villain and yeah like you say it's because he has personality he's not just this villain who wants to take over the world and blah 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 there's rhyme to the reason with Thanos yeah um, and you get this the screen time with him to find it out it's not like a sort of you know a back uh, origin backstory blah 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 cutscene you get at the beginning of the film yeah. That um that sort of explains it. You do get a lot of sort of you see why he's you find out why his motives are why they are and yeah why he wants to do this. So yeah, he makes this film. This uh, I'm a big fan of Thanos. Yeah. yeah, one of the I guess the big parts of a of any Marvel film is the cinematics and and the action scenes, the special effects, and yeah. sometimes how the soundtrack kind of melds into that. How do they do on 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 this front? Because um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to lot to happen. Do the do the Russo brothers nails sort of the core film or movie elements? Yeah, I think it does. It it feel, feels a lot. There's a lot of a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy sort of feeling in this, like mm. especially with how sort of sci-fi this film is. Um, you go into different planets and stuff. There's a lot, a lot of CGI in this film, as you would expect. Yeah. Um, maybe too much, if I'm going to be honest. There was a few other certain characters that I felt didn't need to be CGI. No. Um, and they were, but with the sort of, yeah, how the film looks, it is a, a sort of, the cinematography of it is, is brilliant. There's some great wide shots. You see these different planets and you sort yeah. of explore them a little bit. Um, yeah, the CGI is spot on. As for the soundtrack, it's good. It's, um, it's like, an, uh, you, there's, it's become like, you get, there's a theme tune now, isn't there? Yeah. The Avengers, you sort of hear that coming now. It's become sort of nostalgic almost so when it kicks in and stuff you know that there's a badass moment coming yeah um so yeah i think they've done a, job, a good job all around really yeah yeah i mean for what it yeah certainly i thought that the the action scenes were good the special effects were, were decent cinematics good soundtrack also good so yeah they've uh not managed to drop a ball there uh last real place or last two place i guess it could go wrong is in terms of the plot which yep. i think Based on what you said about Thanos, I think we're both, you know, you seemed like you was happy with that in, in general terms. Um, uh, and also the acting performances. Were both of these up to scratch or was there anything to, to criticise or call out as a positive? No, the plot, that that was great. Um, the, st- the, the whole story, really, it, it knew where it wanted to go from the beginning. Mm. You could tell that they had this plan. Um, and it's good because... There's stories that have already been told with this, haven't there? You, you have the Infinity... I forget what it's called now, is it? No, it's not the Infinity War, is it? The Infinity Gauntlet, that's it. So there's a mm-hmm. comic book series all about this. So everyone's just sort of taking that and yes. thinking, well, we know where this is going. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad that they didn't just copy that straight out of the comic book. They dump you on your head yeah. and it's, it's a great ride. But yeah, down for performances, I think... For the most part, everyone was was really good. Yeah, they should be. They've been doing it ten years. They can't. So yeah, that good. is <laughs> that is very true. Um, there's the who's the uh, there's a character in it. What's his name? Um, 
the uh, Peter Dinklage. Ah. The sort of direction they went with him was yeah. a bit of a, yeah, I weren't sure on that. Um, we won't say who he is or what he is, but, yeah, when, when you get to see him, it's just the, the, what they decided to do. It just, Especially as we know who he is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't have to say this about... <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard to do this film without spoiling it. But, yeah, to... You'll get when when you see him in this film, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But the direction of of Peter Dinklage was a bit one that I was a bit concerned about. But for the most part, everyone else was awesome, and the humour in this film was fucking brilliant. I wasn't expecting it at all. I thought because of this big build up of ten years and yeah. this big mighty villain, it's going to be a real sort of dark, gritty film. Um, I wasn't expecting this, the humour, but you're getting Guardians of the Galaxy slash Thor yeah. Ragnarok style of comedy, yeah. which I think works really well with these Marvel films. Yes. Um, you have your grittier films like your Logans, your Deadpools, but the comedy is where it's at in the Marvel films for me. Yeah, absolutely. And let's move on to the, the final thoughts and then we'll ask for your, your score. So overall... Avengers Infinity War, does it do the hype justice? It does, yeah. It, it, if you're looking at the the big picture, the whole project, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's been worth the 10 years, definitely. It's worth going to see at the cinema. It's, definitely, uh, it's a, definitely a must-see, I'd say. Yeah. Um, it has a few faults. Um, it's, it's hard to, to explain. There's... Uh, one of my biggest gripes of the film, I can't tell you because it's gonna and it, it's gonna spoil the film. So we we'll have to. <laughs> is it a plot <laughs> point? Is it or? It it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's Something a in the plot happens. He doesn't yeah, like. Yeah, that's right. So it's because of this, um, and because of like knowledge that we've learned. To someone, so I think to someone who wasn't sort of. It, like a, maybe a child or something. If a child was to go and see this film, who doesn't sort of sit on the internet all day, knowing what's happened and coming, I think this could be a great film. Yeah. Obviously, they're gonna f- <laughs> they're gonna be like, what the hell? But yeah, it, it's gonna appeal to them more because they don't know in- certain information. Right. Okay. I'm tiptoeing around it as fucking hard as I can. Yeah. But because of that, there's something in there that we'll explain later. Yeah. <laughs> that. Um, just takes that little edge off it from being a, a, a truly brilliant film. Mm-hmm. Um, it just gets that notch luck below for me. So it's still worth going to see. Still a great movie. It's been it hits it it hits the hype. Yeah. But there's just something I want to strangle. <laughs> yeah. We will strangle it one day, that's for sure. Yeah, that's um, right. So the final score, official score for yeah. Avengers: Infinity War. What are you going to go with? So I've had a little think about it, and I'm gonna go for a numerical score of eight. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Avengers: Infinity War. So that's yeah. That's a that's a few notches above uh, Black Panther. That's for sure. Because that yeah got got itself a six. So oh, well, not according to uh, old Rotten Tomatoes. That's I think six percent. So so how's that? Doing? That's mis- misleading. That's just people that recommend it. D- doesn't mean ninety nine out nine point six. Ah. That that's like sevens and above. So ninety six percent of the was names gave it a, a a favorable review. I saw something the other day. I can't remember which film it was, and it had a hundred percent. And I thought, good Christ, I was going to send it to you, but well, Paddington too was it? <laughs> no, it might, I know that's it got a ridiculously high one. Yeah, and it's because basically eighteen people have reviewed it rather than two hundred. Ah, oh, right, I that's see. So Rotten Tomatoes, it's a good barometer for looking at like a favourable film. But when you see ninety six, it yeah. kind of you think, oh Christ! But actually, all of them could have given it an eight out of ten, like you have. But they yeah. that, was, that would have sat in the the favourable response. But there you go. Avengers: Infinity War's done for another year. They are filming um, its direct sequel back to back. So that'll be wrapping up shortly, I should imagine, or maybe it already has wrapped up. Yeah. Um, because this is kind of like a two-part story they set out in to, to, to finish off. Is it phase three or phase four? Uh, that's the end phase of three, I think that is, isn't it? To finish yeah. that off, and then they'll start a new phase in 
I assume after the next Avengers film, we don't know what that's going to be called yet as no. of this recording. But I did see something, and it was the most hilarious video. Do you remember the uh, Metal Gear Solid game, the spin-off? Uh, was it Rising? It's yes. called that Revengeance. I yes. think it was called that. It was like the Revengers. <laughs> surely they can't go for that. But it, it looked official, so you never oh know. God. It'll be interesting to see what they what they call it. Yeah. Um, certainly. Well, we'll wrap it up for, for this particular review, and yep. uh, we'll be back in the future with more games, more reviews, more films, whatever's out there that takes our interest. But nothing more for us to say apart from thanks for your time, and ta-da.